So the Epic Game Store accidentally launched their Uncharted Legacy of Thieves, the Thieves Collection page, which included the release date, some bundled information, Fortnite stuff, and the system requirements, and then took it down, because they're really not supposed to have the page up yet. But of course, this is the internet, so some people on Reddit uh, screen captured that, and then I've got this WCCF Tech article here reporting about it. And so what can we learn? Well, first of all, we should expect to see this on October 19th. And it does look like if you're into Fortnite, you could grab yourself a seaplane. Uh, you know, Sully's, uh, what is it, the goose? Is it the goose? <laughs> uh, been a while since I played Uncharted, but um, actually am looking forward to seeing what it looks like on PC. Anyway, uh, so there's that little Fortnite bundle, but uh, bigger news there is the October 19th date, which is not too far away in the grand scheme of things. But then probably more interesting for the topic of the video here, we've got ourselves the system requirements. Now, this isn't one of those giant charts, and if they do release one of those, you know, that has all the like 1080p, 1440p, 4K, all of that closer to launch, or if once this page is officially up, any of these change, I could do an updated video. Um, but this does look to be, um, pretty finalized. I mean, we're fairly close to launch, so uh, I would imagine these are the, pretty much what we'll see when, when the page is official. Um, now, what we're seeing here is some minimum and recommended, but at least they do tell us the performance goals, although the bad news is even their recommended performance goals are only 30 frames per second at 1080p, and at least it is at high settings. And to be fair, you know, running on console, hitting a nice 1080p at 30 FPS high settings, you know, is pretty respectable. It's how these games were designed. Um, it's just I know on PC, our standards are usually at 60 FPS, so do keep that in mind. Now, um, at the minimum requirements, we're looking at 30 FPS at only 720p, and at the medium settings, so at least it's not at the absolute lowest settings, although it is only 720p, so do keep that in mind. Now, so what actual hardware are we looking at here? I mean, the memory requirements, eight gigabyte minimum, 16 gigabyte recommended, that's fairly standard. I, I am noticing that the storage requirement is quite high at 126 gigabytes, and they do say it can support a hard drive, but SSD is recommended. So a, a lot of SSD space uh, would be recommended for the game. And uh, let's jump into the GPUs, and then I'll jump back into the processors for a bit, because GPUs are usually going to be the biggest barrier for people. So they're recommending a, uh, well, minimum is, is a GTX 960, but notice that they specify the 4 gigabyte model. The GTX 960 first launched as a 2 gigabyte model, not a 4 gigabyte model. The 4 gigabyte model came later, so if you have a 960, don't assume you know that you have that 4 gigabyte model, and they are specifying that. Now, I did pull up recent testing from Gamers Nexus in 2021, um, uh, pitting the uh, 4 gigabyte versus the 2 gigabyte and um, clock matching them, so it was just the VRAM difference. And it did seem that their performance when the VRAM wasn't the limiting factor was fairly close. Uh, so it does seem like it really is just whether or not the game does actually need that extra VRAM or not to launch or to play at whatever settings you're looking at. Uh, although again, you know, it can depend on the game and the settings, but um, I'll link this in the description if you wanna take a look at some of those differences between the two. Um, they're listing the AMD R9-290X, and again, specifying four gigabytes uh, alongside that. Now, that seems a bit weird to me. Now, I usually use this relative performance chart um, from Tech Power Up. It's not perfect, especially as, as GPUs get older, sometimes in newer graphics APIs, things like that. Um, you know, the GPUs can, their relative performance can, can be a bit off from each other. But in general, if we set that GTX 960 as a baseline, and I will mention that the 960 that uh, Tech Power Up has in their database is the two gigabyte model. But like I said, when that VRAM is not causing issues, um, the, you know, the overall performance when not VRAM limited is, is fairly similar. Um, so, so that would put your, your baseline here, you know, similar to some of these other GPUs. Uh, the 960 is generally slightly stronger than a 1050, you know, uh, 1630 if you're looking for something more recent. So if you're trying to find your GPU and where it falls in relation to these, you know, you can look at this chart. These ones are a bit weaker. 
Uh, scrolling up here, you know, the 1050 Ti is fairly similar performance. If you have a 1050 Ti, there you go. But again, keep in mind the VRAM on all of these cards, which I don't know off the top of my head for all of them. But what's kind of interesting to me is, is we have to scroll up a bit to find that 290X. Um, and that's being listed by Tech Power Up at least as 56% faster than the GTX 960. So I find it interesting that those were put next to each other at these settings. Now that can mean a lot of things. One thing it could mean is just that, you know, a game developer might only have certain old GPUs to test, right? Like when I'm looking at this, uh, you know, relative performance list, they have basically everything on here, but the game developer might not still have all of these old GPUs. So they might just have some old GPUs uh, in an older system to make sure the game works and they confirmed that it did work at these settings with these GPUs. That could be all that that means. Um, could mean other things as well. Could mean that the game just runs better on this AMD architecture. Uh, so yeah, there, there's a lot of possibilities there, but I will mention the kind of wide uh, disparity between those two recommended, uh, well, minimum <laughs> uh, required GPUs for the game. Now that is at the medium settings, so perhaps it's possible to go even lower into some super low spec gaming kind of setup, um, but that's what's listed here. Now if we jump up to the recommended GPU, which remember is still only for 30 FPS, but now at 1080p high settings, we're seeing the GTX 1060 and they are specifying the six gigabyte model uh, rather than the three gigabyte model, which, which did exist as well, and the RX 570, uh, which uh, they're specifying the four gigabyte model on those. So let's go ahead and scroll up. So if we go from the 960 all the way up to a 1060, the performance jump from there, according to this relative performance chart, which again, game by game can be different and all that, ah, move my head out of the way, uh, is a 72% performance jump. So um, that's probably not gonna be exact, but that, that's gonna be accounting for the move from 720p to 1080p, as well as the move from medium settings to high settings. So that kind of jump does sound fairly reasonable. Also keep in mind that these aren't gonna be exactly 30 FPS all the time. What really system requirements charts usually either list 30 or 60. So if it can't consistently average around 60, they call it 30. So it is possible that one or the other of these or both might actually be getting more like 40 FPS somewhere in there, that kind of a thing. Anyway, so our RX uh, 470, Again, kind of interestingly here though, sorry, 570, RX 5, 570, I misspoke. Um, uh, let's see, where, where do we have our RX 570 in the list here? I think I gotta scroll backwards. Again, so I'm looking at the uh, relative performance. Let's set the 1060 as the baseline now. So this is our baseline recommended NVIDIA GPU. Um, the RX 580 is usually the main competitor performance wise with the 1060. That's why I said that was interesting because they're listing the 570 next to it. And what's weird here is the 570 and the 290X <laughs> are fairly close in performance and they're listed as the minimum and then the recommended here. So we get what seems to me like reasonable scaling from the 960 to the 1060 but then a strange pairing from AMD. So I don't know if that's something just about the architecture of these cards, the VRAM level, I mean, the, this 570 is the four gigabyte, right? Uh, the 290X uh, is the four gigabyte. So I don't know, guys, the AMD requirements here seem weird to me. The NVIDIA ones seem to make more sense. I can't read too much more into the, it than that other than saying then that if you wanted to get, um, you know, uh, 60 FPS experience, experience or, or turn settings up, that kind of thing. Well, one thing you could do is turn settings down. This was at high settings for 30 FPS. And like I said, I would actually expect this realistically to be above 30 FPS at times. So I guess what I'm saying is you probably don't need to fully double this performance to get 60 FPS because that 30 FPS probably isn't quite exact either. So if we scroll up, uh, you know, we can see GPUs that are a little bit stronger, you know, your 1660 Super at like 30, 32% stronger, your 1070, things like that. So 1070 is stronger, you know, 
it uh, maybe if you went down to the medium settings, then you could balance out to your 60 FPS, that kind of thing. That 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 might be fairly reasonable. Um, you know, but when we start to get to things like the 6600 from AMD, that kind of a thing, uh, this is a good 77% jump. So even though that's not technically a full doubling, which you would uh, want to go from 30 to 60, like I said, I think there's probably some wiggle room on that 30. It's not exact. Um, so we might be fine there for, for if I was estimating your 1080p 60fps kind of GPUs. I think if you're around between a 6600 and then your 6600 XT is doubling, um, I think you'd be in pretty good shape there. So your RTX 3060, for example. So I'd be really shocked if those weren't giving you 1080p 60fps uh, roughly at 1080p high settings. We'll see what happens though. I'm interested to see you know, if they did step up the high setting graphics much to be more demanding than the uh, PS4 versions of the game and all of that. Um, anyway, if we look at the CPUs a little bit, um, these are four core CPUs. So at the minimum here, the 4430 is a four core, four thread Intel CPU from way back in 2013. So this is not uh, incredibly demanding here or anything like that. And the uh, AMD, uh, chip they're putting up against it is the Ryzen 3 1200, which is also four core, four thread, uh, significantly newer, but keep in mind that older Ryzen's, um, with this being, what was it, I think 20, 2017, there we go. Uh, older Ryzen CPUs in gaming, uh, it took them a while to catch up to the relative performance from Intel. So, so it, it usually is normal to see an older Intel up against a kind of a newer AMD CPU. Uh, for gaming uh, recommendations like these. Now, when we're stepping up to the recommended, we're seeing the 4770 from Intel, which is four core eight threads. So we're adding in that mm -hmm. hyper threading and I think a bit higher clock speeds, but still that uh, 20, uh, 2017 generation, I think it is, right? No, 20, sorry, 2013 for the Intel generation. And then for the AMD, we're seeing Ryzen 5 1500X, um, which is four core, eight thread. So again, we get that multi-threading and a bit faster clock speeds and all that. And again, that 2017. Now notice though, that none of these are listed at 60 FPS. So while it's possible that these could deliver 60 FPS, it's not guaranteed in the system requirements. So perhaps jumping to a newer generation, you know, maybe your Ryzen 5 2600, that kind of a thing, or a newer generation of, of uh, Intel maybe could be required to hit that 60 FPS number. Because again, I'll point out they are only listing this at 30 FPS. All right, so that's what we know for now. Like I said, if this ends up being different when it's actually um, uh, when it's actually revealed and not taken back down on the store page and all that, I could do an updated video. Uh, so stay tuned if needed. And I'll probably test this game out on my 1060 when it launches if you guys are interested. Let me know in the comment section. I hope all of you have an excellent day.